Here you go. Uh, you will find it in the chat box. Please click the link and you will get a form. And you will see the speakers' names there for the meeting 864. We had a speakathon six today. So it's a long list. Choose one, the one that you like best as a speaker and submit your vote. Has everyone got it? Yes, we have. Yes, thank you. We have. I would like to know if everyone has got the link and it's working. If it is not working for anyone, please let me know. Uh, it's working perfectly for me, Toastmaster Shamam. It's working as well from my side. I've already submitted. Great. Me either. It's done. Great. So uh, now uh, with this done, uh, with the prepared speeches session done, I would now like to hand over the charge to our journal evaluator for today, who is none other than Toastmaster Asghar Ramzan. Toastmaster Asghar, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, welcome to the journal evaluation section. And uh, as you all know that the evaluation is happened to be the third and last segment of our program, but today, due to the uh, the special format of our program. This is the second session and happened to be the last one. In evaluation, as we all know that evaluation is at the art of our learning experience. So we may miss anything, but we will never miss this section. We evaluate our uh, uh, speak, uh, speakers by the Toastmasters who are not the speaker at the same time. So uh, today uh, I have a list with me of the evaluators and the speakers. Uh, uh, TM Omar Hayat is uh, just sent me a message that he is uh, facing some problem and he want to he, he wants to do it earlier uh, so that uh, uh, the time can be saved. TM Omar, are you there? Do you want to come first? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so please, our second speaker was TM, TM uh, Latif, and you are supposed to evaluate TM Latif. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you uh, proceed with the, your evaluation right now? Uh, sure. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, can I be heard? Fine? Yes, you're fine. Go okay, ahead. great. So, Toastmaster uh, uh, Latif, um, is he over here? Yes, okay. So, Postmaster Latif uh, presented his icebreaker speech, and the purpose of this speech was to introduce um, himself. And I have to say at the start that it did not at all seem like it was his first speech because he spoke so well and so uh, confidently um, and so um, amazingly well that he looked um, already like a seasoned speaker. Uh, the thing that I really liked about your speech was that your, your confidence was really good. Your gestures, they complemented your speech uh, perfectly. And you were maintaining really good um, um, eye contact with the audience. And that shows that you have the potential to be a great speaker. And the second thing I really liked about your speech is um, how you made it into a journey. And that, and that makes the speech a very uh, memorable one. Now, a few suggestions I would make is that in this speech, uh, you, uh, sometimes you, uh, you, uh, you were uh, clasping your um, hands um, like this, and it is perhaps um, better if you steeple like this that uh, that improves your your 
uh, in confidence and it looks uh, better. And this second thing is when you are introducing yourself, maybe it's also a good idea to talk a bit more about your personal self and not only your, your uh, professional self. So these are the two kind of points I noticed. Overall, it was a great speech, and I think we're off into an amazing start, and we hope to hear much more from you in the future. Over to you, General Evaluator. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Omarat, for, for evaluating TM Latif. So uh, since you were there, I, uh, and I want you to evaluate uh, TM Navid Mita as well. Yes, of course. So, Toastmaster Navinta presented her speech um, on the topic of focus. And I, have, um, I first have to say that it was a really good topic to choose because um, all of us can really relate to the idea of focus. And one of the things that we really like to see at Toastmasters is uh, is how we can improve ourselves. And you gave us a really good dose of improvement. The thing that was really good about your speech was your vocal uh, variety was good. And your speech was clear and, e um, and easy to understand. Your use of gestures was good and it really complemented your speech. A few um, areas of improvement I would suggest is, uh, first of all, when you're dealing with a topic as um, abstract, as, as focus, sometimes it's good to make it more concrete with the help of a story. So like if you start this, if you start a speech like this with a story, then it becomes much more memorable and it really sticks in the audience's mind. So that is something that you could try to do. And this second thing was that your um, um, eye contacts, sometimes uh, 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 you were looking up uh, when you spoke. And uh, I know that maintaining eye contact is really uh, hard on Zoom, but still it's good if you are um, always looking at the audience because it engages the audience. But these are minor um, issues. I would say um, overall it was a great speech and I uh, particularly appreciated your um, advice at the end. The actionable advice that we could, that we can implement in our lives. So congratulations on a great speech. Over to you General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Omar Hayat. Uh, thank you, thank you, Toastmaster uh, Omar Hayat, uh, for doing your evaluation. Now, I would like to request TM Heba uh, to evaluate uh, TM Farhan Aydar. TM Heba, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, please go ahead with your evaluation. Is TM Farhan uh, there online? Let me check. I think he isn't. So he isn't there, so should I still go on? Yes, I think because it is being recorded, so... Uh, uh, okay. actually, actually, he's suffering some connection problems, so I think you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, TM Farhan, uh, the topic which you spoke about is very relevant in today's time. Corona <laughs> is something which has uh, affected us, our lives, both positively and negatively, and in more ways than one. It is an epidemic which has sadly made us lose our loved ones as well. During the time you spoke, um, you spoke clearly and with confidence. The practical examples that you used were good enough to emphasize uh, your point. You were also able to demonstrate audience awareness needs and also so I also found that you spoke comfortably during the time you spoke. 
in front of the audience. The speech you had was quite interesting and we could all connect to it in one way or another and it was well researched. However, the points that you have to improve upon are or could improve upon are that firstly you should have shared your presentation so that um, we could uh, also see it and I thought you lacked vocal variety which you should have incorporated in your uh, speech in order to make it more interesting and bring about a depth in your speech and you also I thought lacked uh, gestures which could, would have helped you more, make yourself more expressive and lastly because you didn't uh, share your presentation in the share screen section so I thought that you lacked a bit of eye contact because you were um, at times firstly seeing the presentation over here and then looking in the camera and with that uh, in the end by concentrating on the areas of improvement you will hopefully become a better speaker thank you thank you uh, tm heba rais uh, the next speaker was uh, tm asgar and tm asgar will be evaluated by tm zishan zishan uh, can you proceed with your evaluation all right uh, am i audible yeah all right, that's good. Uh, Tim Asger, uh, you don't, you, I've said it several times in my previous evaluations. I've got it whenever I've got the opportunity to speak, to evaluate. Such a great speaker yourself. You don't need words. All you need to do is just come on the stage and do your thing and mesmerize us with your subtleness, with your ideas, the immaculate vocabulary, and the connection between one idea to another. That is something amazing that I would like to see every time and that gets me excited and I'm sure it gets excited, gets every Toastmaster excited about it. But what I just love and what just you know, draws me in in your, in your speech is the rhythm that you adopt. That rhythm not only helps us to walk the words that you speak, but it also helps us to see what you're saying. It's such an amazing feat that only a rare Toastmaster could probably ever get to. So hats off to you on this one. What I would like you to, what I see, I, I would want to see some flair, and that would be, you could encourage yourself to explore more emotional connection through your tone. Through your previous speeches, there is, there is a subtle change. There are ups and downs. Maybe, uh, maybe a, an expression of anger, expression of joy, expression of love, expression of sadness. Whatever the speech directs to, what I would like to see, and I desperately would like to see, is that emotional connection through your tone. That would amaze the audience. That would add fuel to fire, not only in your speeches, but in your general conversations. What more I could do is you could challenge yourself with if you could, if you could bring some flair, rhythm, change in your vocal intonations. And that will come with, obviously, with when you're expressing, that will come accordingly. I would like to see that best self who expresses, the best TM Asgar who expresses himself out there with us in a complete fashion. And that is something my eyes are desperate to see. Over to you, TM Asgar. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, TM Zishan, for your evaluation. But be there because you are going to evaluate uh, another Toastmaster, uh, Toastmaster Sidra Awan. Please go ahead with your evaluation. Uh, right. um, TM Sidra, am I audible? Is this clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, that's good. Um, your topic was 
to create, uh, to share a topic, which was unfamiliar to the audience. Your, you started off with COVID-19, which is a general main idea of the topic. I'm not going to say it's a thesis statement, but then what was surprising that you have directed that particular generic topic and moved it to specific habits of each individual, then you engage the Toastmasters accordingly by asking questions. Some became vegetarians, some were pretty much, you know, accustomed with family and so on and so forth, and they gave their input, or should I say two cents in. So hats off to you, you have managed to create a different topic, which is not familiar, under the umbrella of a common topic. Not a lot of people are able to do that. So what went well in your presentation was the subtle, the subtle transitioning of one idea to another idea to another idea, and the rhythm that you have created, it was a nice, should I say, a nice feature to see. On top of it, you made the audience engaged, and that is something an amazing a Toastmaster should do when you're, you're capable enough to do that. Hats off to you on that one. What you, could, what you could improve yourself with is, since you already have that confidence, I would like to see um, the reassurance given to the words through your tone. I'd like to see the flow of the ups and downs so that you can make us involve more to what you're saying. Lastly, what you can challenge yourself with is take us, I know you have already, you have already done that in your previous speeches as well. I would like to see it in you again and again and again, that you take us, lead the audience on an emotional roller coaster ride. That would pound my heart and that would probably excite everybody else who's present in this very room. That's off to you. Congratulations to the project. Best of luck in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you, TM Zeshan, for your two consecutive evaluation. I, I, I know you are now tired. Uh, uh, take some rest, but be there. Uh, the next speaker was uh, none other than our president, and our president will be evaluated by my mentor and a magnanimous spirit, DTM Samir. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Askar. Today, Toastmaster Imran was going to be talking about how to persuade with power. He had to persuade listeners to adopt his viewpoint and appeal to the audience's interests. I loved the way he started off about, you know, having the call come in. He made the phone sounds. He put his hand up and that was brilliant. And also I must say his gestures today were really impressed me for the simple reason that when he said perfect, he made the perfect sign. So that was extremely good. And then he went off with having to say yes, takes courage and doubts are laziness. And I love the way he showed the knowledge because he knew exactly when he was talking about, about the structure of the territorial council, about the division, about how, when you go out of the district, the uh, resident advisor, the regional advisors, the international directors. I mean, it was absolutely to the point. And then I enjoyed the way he jumped off a little bit on the jokes about KTC having 200 members and him being the international president and the biggest joke, reached luxury charging us only 100 rupees. So that was funny and good. And in the end, he went off to, it could be you. All you need to do is to say yes. And that was absolutely he called for action. So the things I was supposed to see is, was he inspirational? Yes. Did he have knowledge? Why? Yes, he did. Did he have a reputation? Because he did, because he's the president. So he actually walked the walk. He did many roles and then he became the president. 
He called for action and he convinced us. So all in all, I must say I was blown away to a small stem run, Rana, because I have seen you for so many years and you were always so diffident and not wanting to come forward. You never did. And the reason was because you felt a bit shy. But I can tell you, and this has nothing to do with the evaluation, Toastmaster Imran Rana is one of those people who does all the work and doesn't take the credit, which is so different. But I'm so glad you gave the speech today because it was a great speech, brilliant. And why do you say you're not a good speaker? You're a brilliant speaker. Tala, you better watch out. So fantastic. Well done. I loved it. Thank you, DJM Sami. Thank you for your evaluation. Uh, our next speaker was Ali Asher. Ali Asher will be evaluated by uh, Jim Sidra Awan if she is there. Yes, she is there. Please go ahead with your evaluation. Sure, yes. All right. Um... All right, TM Ali Asher, I must appreciate you taking on the project and applying feedback that you received on your last speech. And I'm, I'm glad that you took note of that. And uh, I'm going to work, uh, first of all, comment on those uh, feedbacks that you had last time and the ones you have applied in your speech. The first one was coherency, avoid non coherency. You were told to make your speech more connected. And I must say that you. Well, done. you did a good job in that. Your speech was well connected, well structured. The other feedback that you received was uh, to work on your grammar. I would, um, I could see some improvement there, but I would still suggest that there is a lot more to uh, you can cover. You can practice a lot more in that area. Um, now coming uh, to this speech as uh, content and delivery wise, content was good as always. Uh, the best thing that I saw in your speech is the eye contact and the non-verbal communication or gestures. Your eye contact was right there on point, plus your non-verbal gestures. Your, you know, when you were emphasizing on a, uh, on something, you kind of, you know, put your fist on your palm and everything that was really, really commendable. I must admit that the flow of your speech, because I have seen you, you know, when you actually joined uh, the club, so I've seen you from then, and I can see the flow of speech has reached next level. One more thing that you were really good at in your speech today was the imagery, um, like the figurative language. You could actually make us see the birds, the starry nights and everything. And that was really, really nice. You could actually got engaged in your speech also. Uh, having said that, I would like to see uh, you uh, working on enunciation, like the way you pronounce and utter words. How could you do that? I would suggest you might record your voice sometimes but while speaking and you know, you see and identify the specific details. And you know, you can work on the words that need more um, firm, firmness and clarity, you know, which will actually make your speech, speech more understandable and more clear for the audience to hear and relate with. Last but not the least, I would like uh, you to uh, challenge yourself with uh, an, an effort put in the area of vocabulary. Your grammar uh, is improved, but I still want you to work on that. And alongside, I would like you to increase uh, the relevant words, you know, whereby you see which suits the best in your speech and which is most relevant to your content. Use those words, you know, that it adds weight to your speech and it will definitely enhance the quality of your speech. Um, other than that, I have um, always seen you as a confident speaker and uh, someone who relates to the fraternity and relates to the family, uh, to the club members. And I want you to like keep on doing that, make yourself uh, as comfortable as you already are. And I would really, really like you to participate more often and see you speak more um, on the forum. Uh, overall, it was a, it was a commendable effort to level up your project. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, we'll thank, go. You. thank you, Jim Sadra. Thank you for your evaluation. Now, I think uh, the last one is uh, the, the last speaker was uh, Talab bin Ahmed, and he is not here. But let me address him as yes, he is there. Okay, uh, Team Tala, are you there? Anyway, I'm. I'm I, I will go with my evaluation. Okay, Team Tala, thank you very much. Huh. You know. Uh, there is a consensus in KTC uh, uh, 
um, among the KTC members that the Tala is one of the speakers. It is very difficult to evaluate him. And when it comes to the evaluation of uh, Tala, everyone is, I mean, usually hesitate, including me. But somehow it was forced on me and let me have a try. Uh, Tala, what I usually observe, you always come with an opening sentence, a rhetoric question, a dramatic point, a powerful statement, sometimes with a joke. And this is, you know, today you are no exception. The way you started it was really, you know, attention grabbing. And secondly, uh, you brought life to a dry mathematics. Had you been someone else, we would have lost our interest long ago from the speech. Uh, but if I prioritize your good points, your body gesture and physical demonstration was number one, especially the demonstration of a plate to talk about the size of pizza was really excellent. You know, this, this is the part I really liked, the way I absorbed the, the whole discussion with the help of, of your gestures and, and the demonstration of the plate. A sprinkling, a sprinkling humor is all around the speech was something we all loved and it is your trademark, so you know nothing special about it. And the way you know you 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 himself a magician of of of, of words and you know, how to use them. Anger, anger, more anger. Check, double check, triple check. You know we, we don't ignore we can't ignore them. Uh, the the area of challenging I know you accept challenge. Uh, I invite you to think about our cognitive load. And uh, sometime I was struck dumb as I strove to recall or remember uh, your complex, you know, the, the, the way you draft your sentence in a very complex way and the, and the pace you usually speak uh, or, or delivered your speech is, is something I struggle to catch. Uh, uh, finally, I would say another point I really like is the way you dig out a serious call of action. You know, take something home. Uh, we must not be entrenched in our belief in an extent which blind ourselves to the obvious. I mean, this is something to draw from a really funny and, and, and a light uh, situation is, is something, uh, you know, really fascinating for me. Uh, that's end from my side. And uh, uh, toast, dear Toastmaster, this is the, your journal evaluator. We have finished the all evaluation. And uh, this is the time for voting. I invite all of you to vote our evaluators. Uh, can I repeat the evaluator? Uh, uh, TM Shamam, do I need to evaluate all evaluators? Uh, sorry, do I need to uh, repeat the name of all evaluators or the list is with you? Uh, no, I have the list. I just need the timer to let me know the situation. Okay, a timer. Do we have a disqualification in this? Session. Well, uh, all the speakers spoke for uh, less than three minutes, except for Sedra, who spoke for three minutes, 16 seconds. Three minutes and? 16 seconds. 16. Yeah, one sec. Okay, okay. So she is I, qualified. I, okay. She is qualified. The time okay. is three minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. All right. So, in a way, I all of them are qualified. qualified. Okay, thank you. Yes. I'll be sending a link in a while. Uh, please keep an eye on your chat box. Okay. Uh, but meanwhile, can we go to the, our uh, role holder uh, for please reporting? Do that. Okay. Our first role holder was uh, World Master T. M. Rusa Kamal. Uh, Thank you, General Evaluator. The word of the day was uh, rhythm, and uh, Postmaster Zishan used it uh, five times, I think in his evaluation and uh, no one else used it. Back to you, Toastmasters. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Toastmasters, uh, yeah. I've sent the link in the chat box. Uh, everyone here is required to click the link and vote for the best evaluator, please. And if someone so, is unable to do that, please let me know. Okay. Please, uh, everyone fo follow what she said. Okay, and now the next uh, report is supposed to come from the grammarian. <laughs> A grammarian, are you here? 
Yes, I am here. So please go ahead. Can I start my video, DM Tala? Yes. Sorry. Uh, can I, because you are the host, can I start my video? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. As the grammarian, um, there were quite a few incorrect uh, usages <laughs> of like words and phrases that I came across and a number of interesting phrases that were spoken during the prepared speeches session by the speakers. So here it goes. First the incorrect and then the correct usages of uh, sentences, phrases. Someone spoke standing here, so it should standing here's. So it should be standing here. Keep listening. Uh, keep listening. Keep uh, stancing. So it was. It's keep praying. Who has helped? Who have helped? I have got to know. I encountered. Determines. Determine seniors of the club have nominated, seniors of the club have nominated, even with the strange people, even with strange people, he dealt it, he dealt with it, listen with open minded, listen with an open mind. Okay, and then since I was the evaluator, so I was just trying to juggle it. I'm I think I might have missed a few incorrect usages or uh, of words and sentences, of words and phrases spoken during the speeches. So I'm sorry for that. And now um, for the correct use, sorry, sorry for the interesting uh, phrases spoken with uh, talk of the town, with very patience, toxic friends, grass is always greener on the other side, with the no, don't beat yourself up. Uh, took me under his wing, benefit of the doubt, jumbled up. Which is cauldron, and in that nutcase, that's about it. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, uh, Grammarian. Now it's time uh, for the R counter. Uh, do we have a report from R counter, Jim Nanta? I think uh, she is not here. So uh, can we go for Super Grammarian, TM uh, Faizan? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I would love to start with the first phrase that is uh, more you focus, more you progress. Team Latif. More you focus. Oh. Team Latif. No. Those passes, Dala, could you please unmute everyone so that because I guess. Sorry. Even can mute themselves. Mm -hmm. Unmute themselves. Yes, it's Navinta. I, it's Navinta Karan. Okay, the second phrase is earn battle life in Pakistan. Uh, uh, and, TM Latif. TM Latif. Yeah. Okay. Most critical and unaddressed issue. Most critical and unaddressed issue. Naminta. You are not there. Yes, I yes, sir. You are right. TM Sidra. TM Sidra. Yes. 
I don't know I got it right or not, but the sentence yes. this is, is right. living individual, noisy children, and troubling mother-in-law. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I woke up with a chance of children around me. I woke up with a chance of children around me. Asher. Yeah, I'll hear you. That's it from us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Super Grammarian. Thank you. And I think uh, this is the end of the role holders session because I can't see uh, the one who is responsible for our counter. So, uh, our counter, are you there? Can you hear me? Naminta? Uh, well, I think. Yes, you... actually, I am here, but uh, I joined meeting late for a few reasons. So, I didn't notice any. Um, hours. I'm really sorry. Okay. Your sorry is immediately accepted at the highest level. I'm sure <laughs> this will not be repeated because my president you know, just gestures me that the sorry is accepted. Uh, well, I think this is almost the end of the session and thank you very much all for this wonderful session. We were on time and we were about to be uh, going our virtual home on time. It's 8, uh, 9, 8. And uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed all, all the speakers. Uh, it is good to see so many wonderful speakers in a one day. And I hope this, this tradition will be uh, repeated uh, in the same year, uh, unlike what the president said. Uh, now, this is the time for the reward. And I believe uh, the voting process has been completed. But uh, this is the end from my side. Now, I would like to. Uh, give the charge to the Toastmaster of the evening, uh, Tian Thala bin Amit. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator. And uh, Tian Thala Amit, I need another two minutes, please. Sure, sure, no worries at all. No worries at all. So Toastmaster Shamam beat me to the bunch. I was about to announce that now, now they will be voting for uh, the best big two. But as always, she's super vigilant, super proactive. So, uh, I believe that will come when it will come and it will appear in the chat box. So uh, I have now very little to do except uh, to hand over the charge back to the president. So Mr. President, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Tanha. Am I audible? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it was an amazing speakathon. Thank you very much. It was uh, literally amazing. All the speakers were extremely, extremely good, extremely, extremely eloquent. And all the speech evaluations were right on spot. It was amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, before announcing the result, I would like to make an appeal that the next meeting will be our last meeting for the year 2019 and 2020. And that meeting will decide the new leadership. So I request everyone, each, each one of you to please, please, please try to, to join the next session, next meeting and request every member to be part of that historical meeting because we may we are going to have our elections and that election will decide who is going to be the next president next vp education next vppr vp membership secretary and sergeant at arms so this is my appeal to you please be present in our last meeting and it is very, very necessary. And Toastmaster Shaman, I request you that since it's a speakathon, so you have to announce three positions for best prepared speeches. Best prepared speaker and best prepared speech evaluator. If the results are finalized, so please you may announce. Okay. Uh, not yet. Let me have uh, ask you to uh, vote for the big two. I've sent a link in the chat box. 
Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's it seems to and me it's little too late. I'm sure Farm 45, you know, is there. It's not being good. Okay. Uh, uh, can you see the link? Toastmaster Tanha? Can you see the link for Big 4, Big 2? Yes. Yes, okay. we can. Please go ahead. And then Toastmaster Imran, uh, I would need another two minutes to announce the results then. And another two minutes. <laughs> Why don't we take comments from uh, guests? Uh, we have Toastmaster okay. Kaniz Iqbal. Yeah. Yes, Toastmaster Taha, would you please take uh, comments from the guest? Because I'm on mobile, so I cannot, uh, I don't know who is the guest and who is not. So please, okay. please. So uh, we had quite a few guests. Uh, now we have uh, Toastmaster Kaniz Iqbal. Toastmaster Kaniz, uh, if you can, we'd love some comments from you about our meeting. Okay, actually she mentioned previously that she was having some connectivity issues. So maybe uh, those are continuing right now. So, yeah, back to you, Mr. President. Entertain us. Okay, okay. I request everyone to switch on their cameras so that our co- uh, uh, um, I'm having, I'm having a, uh, I need to ask something, president and past president. Uh, I had calculated the results for best evaluator, but then three more people decided to vote in. So I need time again to add them up or you think I should just leave them? Just leave them and make your result. The, the voting time is over. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me just. Get to okay, I request everyone to uh, switch on their cameras so that our tech host can take pictures, beautiful moments. So I request everyone to please switch on their cameras. Toastmaster Urusa Kaval. Yes. I can see your face. She she has transformed into a clock. But stop what she is. Yeah, it's software. it's not yeah. it's not twenty thirty four. <laughs> so this is how seriously a timer should take their role. Toastmaster Navishra, could you please turn on your camera? Are you done? No. Do you want us to make any case? Yeah. Okay, if everyone's thumbs are raised, who's taking the picture? Okay, am I audible? Loud and clear. No? Okay, so uh, are the results prepared? Toastmaster Shimam? Hold on. Toastmaster Shimam, are you there? I am here. Uh, I'm here. I'm here in a minute. Good. I'll be showing you the results in a minute. Okay, okay. So once again, I would like to make request that uh, next meeting will be our, the last meeting of this 2019-2020, the beautiful year. And I request you to be part of that meeting. It would be like the first time we are going to have our election. So, so members are requested to participate in that meeting. And those I'm sorry, who I'm taking a bit of time, but please bear with me. 
no worries take it and one more thing i would like to add one more thing that only those members can participate who are paid member because they can only cast their vote otherwise the member who didn't get their renewals done so get their renewals done as soon as possible so that you can participate in last meeting and cast your vote if there is if we have any candidate from floor so we will have election and then you will have cast cast your vote Be done. Yeah. Okay. Can I announce the critics' choice award first? Uh, okay. No. Just hold on. I'm on here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I would like to share my screen with you guys. I'm uh, sorry Go for ahead. holding up for a while. Um. Let's get to the results. Is about the best of the best. So, uh, let's see. The best of the best ones, and we will start with the uh, the best speakers. And can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Now, best speaker turns out to be Toastmaster Asghar Ramzan, and what? you can see a bit of a summary in the uh, below text. Should we move? Should we move? Now, let's go to best evaluator, and best evaluator turns out to be Toastmaster Rishan Khan. Toastmaster Shaban, if you could only announce the winners, that could that would be wonderful. Fine. And so, best of big two is Dean Ahmed. And top three, since it's it's a speaker thon, so you need to announce first, second, third for prepared speeches, and first, second, third for internet or evaluate speech evaluations. Okay, okay, okay. So then I will go back to my presentation, and I will see uh, and announce the results. Simply, right? Not show you the pictures. Okay. So the best speaker. We will start with the runner-ups first, I guess. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear. Okay. So we have to announce three. Yeah. Okay. The second runner-up is. Um, Toastmaster Imran Rana, who is the president for our club, big round of applause. The first runner-up is distinguished Toastmaster Talha bin Hamid, and the winner is Toastmaster Azhar Ramzan for the best speech. Now let's move on to best evaluator. And the second runner-up here is Toastmaster Asghar Ramzan. The first runner-runner-up is DTM Samir Dodi, and the winner is Toastmaster Zishan Khan. These are the best evaluators. Now, are you saying something? No, no. Carry on with the big two result. Okay. So the big two has only one big one, and that is distinguished Toastmaster Talha bin Hamid. Congratulations, winners. Now, Congratulations. over to you for your critics' choice and uh, best facilitator award. Thank you very much, Postmaster Shamam. Thank you very much, and congratulations to all the winners. And best critics' choice for best critics' choice for best facilitator goes to our grammarian today, Toastmaster Hiba Reis Khan. Congratulations, Toastmaster Hiba. Thank you. And critics' choice for best prepared speech. Let me give you a 
a brief about this uh, this uh, this category actually we nominate one of one of the best or one of the senior toastmasters to become judge and he has to evaluate all the speeches according to judges ballot and according to that secret judge today's critics best prepared speech goes to can anyone guess yes. can anyone guess Yes, my side. It's not Toastmaster Asghar. <laughs> Imran Rana. <laughs> it's Toastmaster Imran Rana. No, it's Toastmaster Ali Asher Anjul. Congratulations, Toastmaster Ali. Thank you very much for being part of such a wonderful and amazing meeting. Hope to see you in our last meeting for the year 2019-2020. So with that, thank you very much. We'll we'll meet same times, virtually same day. Until then, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and see you again, inshallah, next week.